Good morning. Here's hoping I can get this to video correctly today. I thought a few of you might like to see how I ship my hatching eggs. And everyone ships their eggs differently. This is what's worked for me, so I'm in no way advocating that you have to do it this way or this is the perfect way. This is what works for me. So I have most of my eggs already wrapped here um, and sitting, waiting to be boxed up. And I have three left unwrapped, and I'm going to show you how I do it. The items that I use are paper towels, uh, rolls of the fine or small bubble wrap, scotch tape, and then I actually cut egg cartons in half, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, and then I use a shipping box. I'm a little unhappy today because when I went to my local post office, I grabbed their medium flat rate shipping boxes and I grabbed the last two they had. And I don't know if you can see this. They're not the standard medium flat rate shipping boxes that I'm used to, but I can make this work. So I'll show you how I do that. But first let's get to wrapping them. So first I take a paper towel and when you're shipping hatching eggs, you want the air cell to be up in the shipping box. So um, wherever the label is, you want the air cell to be pointing at the label because that's how the box is hopefully going to ship when it um, is going to the USPS because they're gonna need to scan the label. So hopefully they have it up. So your air cells are up. It helps to keep the eggs from being scrambled. I apologize for all the hand gestures. I apparently use a lot of hand gestures. Okay, so the first egg, so I want my air cell up, and if you notice when they're packaged, it's kind of hard to tell where the air cell is, or the big end, or the pointy end. So for my information, I take the egg, and I have the air cell pointed to my left, and you'll hopefully see why. I wrap the egg in the paper towel first. The reason I wrap the egg in the paper towel is depending on the humidity, possibly and the egg in the air, um, I want the paper towel to absorb the humidity so it isn't trapped in the bubble wrap and then affect the hatchability of the egg. Then once it's wrapped in a paper towel, I take it and wrap it in the bubble wrap. So the air cell is still pointing on this side, and this is for my info. Then the first thing I do is I take a piece of tape and I tape the pointy end or the non-air cell end up, flip it over. Now I have the air cell end un untaped. I'm taping it up, closing it up. And then when I set it to the side, I know that this is the air cell side or the fat end. And I set it over there. All of these are air cell up. And I know this because of the way I wrap them. Take my next egg, air cell over here, wrap it, grab some bubble wrap. My bubble wrap is cut into strips that are about an inch wider than the, the average egg that I have. It's not exact, but about. And the reason being is when I tape them, I want a little bit on each end of the bubble wrap to fold over the ends of the egg. I'm wrapping the non-air cell side I'm now wrapping the air cell side and I'm setting it air cell up in the carton. I do not wash my eggs so you notice a little bit of dirt, it could be manure, whatever was on the chicken's feet. I do have fresh bedding I put in the nest boxes. Sometimes the my hens I have a few that won't lay in the nest box. They're delightful creatures. And then other hens just have gross feet. So I don't wash my eggs before I personally hatch them. It's up to each person if they want to wash the eggs. I'm giving the person that has bought these eggs their own choice. They can wash them or not. I do not, so I'm not going to wash them. Wrap it in a paper towel. Grab the bubble wrap. And another thing to note is the bubble wrap has a um, puffy side and a smoother side. I wrap the puffy side in. Um, around the egg. Don't know if that's important or not. It's just the way I do it. I feel like it gives a little bit extra cushion for the egg. I'm taping the 
non air cell side first, turning it over, taping the air cell side. Okay, so <clears throat> this is going to be a, <clears throat> pardon me as I cough, I apologize, a first for me. This is the side the label goes on, so I want my air cells to be up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this egg carton and I'm going to stuff it in the bottom. I know you can't see that, but trust me, I just stuffed the one half of the egg carton in the bottom. Then I'm going to slowly air cell up, put the eggs in there, air cell up, and I'm just going to gently put them in the shipping box with the air cell towards where the label's going to sit, and I'm packing them quite snugly. I don't know if you can see that, but I want them to fit in there quite tightly. There is some space at the top, and that one just fell over. Hopefully I have turned it the correct way, air cell up. And so the space at the top up there, I'm going to fill with bubble wrap once I get these eggs in there. I'm shipping two dozen eggs to this particular customer. If I was only shipping a dozen, then I would use more egg cartons cut up um, and put them in every other row so that um, I have extra protection for these eggs. As you can see, my box is, my eggs are trying to fall over, but my box is just about full. And there's the last one. So now I'm gonna take some of my bubble wrap and I'm just going to kind of roll it up and see if I can shove it in there to the back and as I'm feeling, feeling, I should say, use my word for me, as I'm feeling, feeling this box, as I'm filling it, I'm going to tilt it up for just a second so that I can shove the uh, bubble wrap down in there. So basically what you want is no way for the eggs to move around. The more movement you get in the eggs, the more they can become scrambled. I typically use a full roll of bubble wrap per box. And uh, it just, you know, it is what it is. You want the eggs to be as cushioned as possible and not moving. So what I have, I now have my box is kind of bulging up here at the top. I don't know if you can see that. But there's definitely no room for the eggs to move around in there. Now I'm going to take, probably, it just depends, this one. And see if I can, yes, I can fit that in there. And this will protect the eggs from the top and see how it's squished in there. Now I'm going to have to apologize for the sound my tape is going to make here in a second. Close the box. I'm going to actually tape the ends closed. Pardon me for that sound, that's so annoying. I'm going to do it again. Then all I have to do is slap a label on it. And ship it off. The process is exactly the same for the other size of flat rate, um, medium flat rate boxes. Um, if you're only shipping a dozen, again, you still, at least for me, I still use a um, medium flat rate box. So I just add more egg cartons, uh, more fluffy fillers, so 
more of the uh, bubble wrap. Um, anything to keep the box from getting damaged. Um, I have shipped eggs a couple of different ways and this has um, been what's worked best for me. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you could see um, how I was shipping and packaging the eggs. It's time for me to put the label on, put it to the post office. And um, I always try to get a hold of the people who are purchasing my eggs once they've arrived and they've unpacked them and just ask them how the eggs look. I want to make sure that there are no cracked or damaged eggs as um, that's not going to help with the hatchability for sure. Alrighty, thank you all.